Hello everyone, at these are the news at 6. The following are the replies by the relevant agencies to the fake news viral on social media in a media statement by the quick response team of the Ministry of Communication and Multimedia of when, on Wednesday, April 1st. Senior Minister Security Cluster Datuk Sri Ismail Sabri Yaakob has de denied claims that those detained for defying the movement control order are placed together in a lockup. Instead, they are treated according to the stipulated standard operating procedure, SOP, which emphasizes social distancing. The Pahang Social Welfare Department, JKM, has denied claims that there are district JKM hotlines in the state for the people to contact for COVID-19 aid during the order period until April 14. The Kulim District Health Office has denied the claim that an employee at TF Value Mart in Kulim has been infected with COVID-19. In light of the COVID-19 pandemic, Federal Territories Minister Tan Sri Anwar Musa said no decision has been made yet on this year's Ramadan bazaars. He said in Twitter that the Ministry of Health and the National Security Council had to be consulted first before a decision was made and that would also depend on whether the movement control order needed to be extended. Malaysia, De Malaysia's Deputy Education Minister Dr Ma Hang Son urge parents to do their part and guide their children in online learning amid the movement control or the MCO, pointing out that there are vast options of useful educational material on the internet. Dr Ma said it was up to parents to help their children access available online learning platforms. That's all for me, Hermano Ruben, anytime, anywhere.